The Bomana Police Training College is the one center in the country that prepares men and women who have chosen to serve Papua New Guinea as disciplinary officers. Every year, over 250 recruits come here to begin a career in the police force. Recruits begin the day with a morning parade, which starts at 5 a.m. This is coordinated in four companies, where each one is required to report to the parade host and account for all its members. This parade can go on for hours until all marching requirements are passed and the parade host satisfied. Between 8 to 10 a.m., recruits undergo theory lessons on law proceedings. Such lessons are designed to enhance individuals' understanding on the Constitution, particularly the Criminal Code. I would think it's totally di different from the uh, previous days. We are in a state of civilian. Now we are in totally in different states. We think military, we move military, and we do something which is uh, policing it's to the community, to the province, to the country as a whole. Physical training is a core part of the training here and all recruits are required to run eight laps in a day. These laps exclude the distance they run from their barracks to the training fields and back. Recruits undergo different exercises to build up their physical strength and mind power. Group work is emphasized here and individual participation is closely monitored. And there are small things that we'd like to change the uh, facelift of the, uh, the college. That we have the uh, training college uh, guards that is operating, the uh, cleanliness of the college, um, enforcing the uh, college standing orders, which is very important. What was captured yesterday is just a glimpse on the kind of training and discipline that is required from recruits while training to be police officers. However, once the recruits pass out of Bomana, the decision to uphold and maintain what they learned becomes an individual decision. Takla Gunga, National MTV News.